Hey, what is up you guys? It's Hather Legend here and welcome to the very first episode of Let's Play Oxen Free. This game is a story based, um, kind of like a choose your own path kind of story game and uh, follows a bunch of teenagers going through their lives and something crazy happens, which I have no idea what happens because this is the first time I'm ever playing this game. And I love these kind of like... Um, choices games because it really shows kind of like what my character is like and whether or not my choices are the right choices um, so I haven't looked in too much into this game except for kind of like the like the trailer so it kind of gave me a little bit of an idea what it's gonna be like but I mean I hope you guys enjoy the series because I want to play something a little bit more of a story based game just a little bit more relaxing um, I really enjoyed the Telltale games, which is very similar to this, and then also I like the um, Until Dawn, which is a haunt horror game, but it's also a make your uh, choose your path kind of game. So I love these kind of games. Anyways, uh, let us begin. I'm not gonna continue. Is there any way I can start over? Yes, I can start over. I want subtitles on too, and yep, everything seems to be good. Start over. Confirm. Yeah, last time I only went in for like about 30 seconds to a minute just to check if the, gun, the game runs, so I didn't really get in too much. But anyways, here we go. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry found a station here, I think, for a bit, unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. <laughs> I love the style of this game. It's so Alex? retro. Hey, still with us? It kind of reminds me of for like ten minutes. Stranger Things. All right, I'm listening. Mission Control to Alex. This is Big Papa. Do you read me? I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Did Little say? miss, I can see and hear things at the same something, time. Something, something, cookies. That's what I was saying. Something, something, cookies, or <laughs> whatever. Perfect. You're right on the money. 8 p.m. Well, 8 so you all moved in? Right. Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, please don't. Let's not relive their meet cute any more than we have to. Have you guys just met tonight? Wonder yeah, around. I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? The stepbrother? I don't He's know. my stepbrother. Oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem... Uh, who's the... Uh, who's driving this? Oops. That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Uh, I guess... Yeah. yeah, what's up with that? Does no one normally go there at night? Nobody really lives there, so no. And Karen's not gonna mind that we're spending the night. So... How do you two know? Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. But yeah, we're old friends. Embarrassingly old friends. Like, we should have found better people to hang out with by now. Passengers, we'll be arriving soon. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on their way. Fine, just hold the camera out. Like, far. I don't look my freshest right now. <laughs> it's true, Jonas. This is like B minus Alex. Just for your uh, calibration. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? 
Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Jonas, it means oppressor, right? Yeah, but I mean, my sign's cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. How do I do that? Oh, there you go. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. How did I even pose? Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. There Our high go. school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Okay. So, all right, by the way, guys, this it's, game... Uh, to the left of the dial? This game is a bit more like constant talking, and I'm trying to. Can you let me just talk to my Switch fans for a bit? Okay, that anyways. Song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But, anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Dogs are free. Hey, did I do that pose? So that's what they look like. They were so far away, I couldn't really see what they look like. Clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right. My other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends? Uh, really? Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with them. It's no, not... it's it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And, like, getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. And not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons. Lemonade. However that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. Oh, stop it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in that the That was, um... That was Mike's room, actually. So, there wasn't that much to set up. Oh. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring it up. It's okay, you didn't know. Mm -hmm. 
It's nice. Okay. <laughs> Those other Isn't choices it? were so bad. <laughs> yeah. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. All right. So I'm gonna pause for a second. So yeah. So this game is a very very story based uh, dialogue game, and um, and the time it gives me to make a choice is so short that I can't really like say it out loud what I'm thinking and then read every single thing and then decide uh, what I'm gonna say so I hope you guys don't mind if I just choose uh, the choices and you guys kind of follow along the story and those choices are made by what I think at the moment is correct I'm not randomly clicking uh, fast I mean I'm actually reading all the options and then deciding which one I think I would answer um, so hopefully you guys enjoy it and if I don't speak much it's because the game is so um, what is it called? Atmospheric, and it, it really brings you into the story. So you must, you know, I gotta keep like focus on the story. It's a very good story. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. So uh, the series might be a bit less of me talking and more of the game uh, story, but you might hear me snicker here or there or comment a thing or here. And uh, yeah, just enjoy the enjoy the movie, kind of like a movie. Enjoy the story, and I uh, hope you enjoy my playthrough. Um, let's go back into it. Alright, so like I said, there's not, there's no much uh, time for me to talk, but when I'm just walking around, I think when I can still talk. When the flag is flying, we are funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. So right now, it's just me walking around. I'm going to look at everything. It's kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy? Yeah, it's like a quiche. Uh, I think they block this off at night since... Nobody needs to use it, or maybe they just had a parade. Sure, either one. Mm, car. Why do you need uh, a car? If nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. <laughs> yeah, this is really giving me that um, Stranger Things vibe. I mean, obviously it's not exactly the same as Stranger Things, but that whole like feel of a bunch of kids just going on a venture and then something oh, happens. I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the the um the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like one hundred two point three? I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. Was it one hundred two point three? I think they said it's one hundred two point three. All right. But uh, maybe I heard wrong. Named after the Hawaiian Ooh. god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? Yeah. I hate thinking about it. It reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. Hmm. Alright, sad, let's go. Um, what, is this this way? Yeah. Wait, how can I get... How come I can't get past this area? Oh, I can get past this area. Okay, anyways, what does it say? Parks and Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, alright. Do you think I get to choose which guy she falls in love with? Do you think I should get her to fall in love with this guy? But it's her stepbrother. That's kind of a bit weird. Damn, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. I mean, they're not blood related. Hello, but... kids. True. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid. A tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Really? That's kind of gross. Yeah, sex is gross. So disgusting. Man, get a room, you soldiers. <laughs> so, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I mean, Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. So, to summarize, 
We are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class... I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll... budge. Well, let's try it. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Uh, yeah, isn't this supposed to be like a giant swarming animal mask wearing freakout? Where's everybody else? Jesus, Alex, it's just supposed to be like a somewhat oversized kegger, and I think more people are coming. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this Oh man, sorry guys. I think I'm gonna have to play a bit slower so they can finish speaking. Sometimes I don't know how how far uh, like they would say stuff or how long they would say so, so I just continue on. So I'm gonna try and play a little bit slower so that you guys can get the full story. I kinda wanna know what's happening too. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Who's that? That's so there's this girl. Nona, she's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No okay. pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Ren, relax. relax. We're cool. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was oh, not Jonas is just nervous about moving in with a strange girl in a strange... T Reginald, I hear you oh, over there. Man. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Man, sorry guys. It just keeps cutting when I, like, decide stuff. I'm sorry. I'm gonna try and okay. be a bit more we careful. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip. Yeah, this is his first night here, so everybody be on your best behavior. Treat him as you would a scary dog. Palms <laughs> out. <laughs> That's, um, I don't bite. It's fine. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. Damn it, I, I was gonna press on Oh my but god, it's just Alex If you don't click it, it just, dis it just disappears. <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, seriously, who even invited you? Uh, I did. Ryan invited Nona, and Nona invited me. Though, begged me would maybe be the better way to put it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really beg. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? <laughs> I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Oh, sorry. I accept your apology. Man. Thanks. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're gonna do it. This is gonna be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah, the beach, island stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I hate that girl. Cla is it Clarissa? She's such a bitch. I know, okay, she's the girl that Nona brought, and we're trying to get Ren to go with Nona, so we gotta be nice, but still, that girl's a bitch. Ooh, we're at the beach now. Ooh, starfish. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than, obviously, go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Well, I'm up for pretty much whatever, so... Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Hey, we could go see her house. 
It must be huge. She was rich as... No, we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. She's so boring. Yeah, sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth. But if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so first, we're gonna- I'll start, Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You wanna go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, 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 I wanna- Oh, oh man, you're good at this. Well, if being good means being kind of mean about it. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, huh? something like- <laughs> Enough stalling. I know you wanna sample the goods, now no. just face it. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's- I just like her as a friend. That's- that's all. She's cool. She's- Oh, liar? Liar! <laughs> He's lying! He totally <laughs> likes her! What? Alex, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> I knew it. You can practically smell it on him. <laughs> I'm kidding. Relax. Last I heard, he's still pining for Lindsay, his secret Canadian girlfriend. Yeah, well, I have a thing for hockey, so... Sure. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something? Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. I just have to think about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. What? Ooh, it's fun! It's funny, I don't know. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, <laughs> I think. This is so fun. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. I screw Who Ren. Do the dirty bit? I'd do Ren. We know each other the best, so it'd be like less weird. And you're in a band. Yeah! Mm. I knew those bass lessons would come in handy. And I kill Which, Clarissa. Of course, <laughs> means that you'd strangle Clarissa in her sleep if you ever got the chance. What a shocker. <laughs> eh, she got what was coming to her. Yeah, I mean, you did shove her into the community pool in sixth grade. <laughs> I did, didn't I? I was a hilarious kid. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex mm. gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. I'll ask um, Nona. Nona! <laughs> yes? Do you oh, like Ren? you like Ren? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Can we just stop with the whole me and Nona thing, please? Of course she doesn't. She barely likes anybody. She's like an amoeba. I'd like to hear this from her. Thank you. You don't have to answer. I like Ren like a friend. Like, uh, I mean, he's he's a nice guy. Oh, she's he's lying. He's a nice guy. And uh, we goof off and, yeah, you know. She Ta -da. likes him. All is right with the world. Oh, shut up. Um, Nona, you're up. Oh, uh, Clarissa, if you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. A small black spot so she could tell everyone it was just a mole. <laughs> I'd get like a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am going to get that after I move out, so my parents can't say no. Neat. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. Is I'm... there like a question coming or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I, don't, I don't really need to know the situation. Clarissa. Jonas is fine. He's not a scared puppy. None of that matters. Well, let's hear why your parents got a divorce in the first place, and we'll see if it matters. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. But how can we be sure unless... <sighs> they had... It was just issues, like any other marriage, and they just couldn't get past theirs. That's complete crap. I know you know why. Specifically why. Just come out with it. My brother Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. 
Okay, Clarissa, you... What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Yeah. Wait, let's, 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 let's not stop like this. We should, like... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm going to sit on the beach and I drink. I she dies and maybe first. Maybe I'm feeling spicy. I don't know if she's going to die, but I maybe hope she dies first. And that's exactly what Nona's going to do, too. Fine. Whatever. Be Miss Pouty on the beach all night if you want. I'm not going to let you ruin this for me. I appreciate your permission to be pouty. Thank you. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Uh, if we find anything more interesting than that, I think we'll be too involved in our own fun to come get you. Well, wouldn't you know it, that's just fine by me. I'm gonna go walk well, off. I wanna inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, wanna come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. They're still talking. Jonas, I left too early. Young lad. Help boost me over the fence. Right, let's go to the, the cave's cave. just uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? But like I said, you're a strapping young lad. I'm gonna go too. Okay, come on. Where right. are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh yeah. Is it nice? I'm gonna get my if radio. If you like out. bars on the windows. Oh. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or? Sure. Yeah, let's do it. Do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Because we're cool. We're not like those two other girls, okay? No one that's pretty cool. Come on. <laughs> I'll push you over. Oh, oh, I forgot. We Whenever never talked you're about ready. Time. Oh, what? So, date? the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it going to be? Mm. I don't know. A 1? Brens pulled me into a closet to look at a broom he swore looked like <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, so... Adjust your expectations accordingly. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, Ren, about Nona. What? Did she say anything? Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like, word for word. What do you like about her anyway? I, uh, I don't know. I just think she's hot <laughs> and cute. And I don't know. I, she's cool. That's all. I just like her whole vibe. Okay. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie Town. Come on, Ren. The last thing I want is to have to chase your frail, screaming body into the ocean because you want to pet a fish or something. What? Jonas is gonna do it too, right? Jonas? Mi comida, su comida? Uh, no thanks. I'm with her on the whole not flipping out and drowning myself thing. Okay. <laughs> Stupid Ren. Mm. And what are those icons on top of their heads mean? Okay, Does so it mean they the like them or not? The kids before us always leave them here so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. So I just do this? How's that one? <gasps> Whoa. Holy crap. Whoa, did you see wow, that? it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is- How- How is this- How can this be possible? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? It doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I love the story of this game. The whole acting, voice acting is really well done. And, like, the whole story concept is pretty cool. It's very, like, it's drawing me into the story more and more with the characters and stuff. So, this is an awesome game. I can feel it. I hope it gets more exciting, though. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. This Ooh. is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're they fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? The problem is that she's a monster who can't help monstering out on everybody. Clarissa dated her brother Mike for a little while way back when. 
She should just seriously get over it already. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Huh. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? <laughs> kind of? I got it. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. Yeah, I can... I know where it is. Let me do it. Here we go. <gasps> God, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... It pain? sounds... Painful? <sighs> like, painful. Yeah. Wait, what was that? <gasps> Don't, Ren. Don't there's die. Like, this is gonna sound stupid, but there's, like, something in here. Famous last words. Famous... No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there, like a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something, like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Cool pool. <laughs> Fortune favors the bold. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute, Jonas. Well, I am going to just rest against here because I think, shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. Yeah, you do that. Do what? All right. Cool. We're entering the cave. Oh, that's Nona, and that's freaking bitch Clarissa, and then there's me, which is uh, what's her name? <laughs> I can't, I can't, oh, is it Alex? Yeah, Alex Ren. And Jonas, man, who comes up with these names? These are not normal names. They're like hipsters. All right, cool. We're in the cave, and we have a flashlight. Jonas. Jonas. Jonas? Man, this game is so cool. All right, I don't. Oh, we can climb this. Cool. Wow. You're gonna climb this huge. It's, I mean, from our point of view, it's not huge, but you know, in real life, that would have been pretty scary to climb up with no rope and no protection. She is brave. She could fall. All right, let's go. Maybe I should get my radio out and see what's out there. Yeah, Jonas, where are you? Seriously. Oh, do we climb down? Ow. Man, this is so pretty and creepy at the same time. Oh, did he fell? Did he fell into the pool? Jonas. Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Or a pen? Okay. Ooh. Crawl. See a man See about a, man a about dog. dog. Sure, will do. <laughs> Didn't you hear me calling for you? Jesus, you scared me. Oh, I scared you? You scared me. I had no idea where you were. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, obviously there isn't. Yeah, stop but scaring isn't this me. This place incredible. I mean, I don't even know how this how this happens. No, it's uh, it's beautiful. See? Mm -hmm. That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kind of. I don't know where it's coming from. What could that be? Echoes? Sounds of the ocean bouncing off the walls? Beats me, I failed geology. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Yeah, well, why not? Seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. 
All right. Well, when I was little, I used to go adventuring with my friends into abandoned buildings or caves as well. Not really caves where I live, but I mean like areas that are kind of not safe for kids to enter. So don't do that, kids. It's dangerous. But still, when I was a kid, Wait, I used to do it. What is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. Pockets of what? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating um triangle light thing? Um, um yes. yes. It, it must be like a like a rainbow or like a reflection of light. Those um exist, right? Mm. Um cave triangle rainbows. Uh mm. maybe. Until last week I hadn't heard about parrotfish either, so I guess anything's possible. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there and the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. No. No way. There's like 20 things wrong with that idea, with the number one being radios don't conjure light beams. Come on, it happened outside. It's not that far-fetched. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. When I chose no way, I thought she was going to say, no way, I did that. But instead she Let's said, no it. way, Come I on. didn't do Radio it. Radio time. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. Ooh. Is What's this, happening? Are you, is this you? Are you doing this? Wait. Why did you stop? Because oh, I want to check this out first. We don't even know what that thing is. Yeah, exactly. Let's find out. All right, I'll do it in a second. Let me just check over here first, okay? Saw the man, but not the dog. All right, okay, you Alex, won't... really, I want to see what it's going to do. Fine, I'll show you. I guess I can't go check it out anymore since I started the thing. Go. We're getting close to it. <sighs> Are you gonna make me? <gasps> oh, 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 something's happening. I can't even. Like, what is? What's? I gotta find the third one. There's a third note. Huh? Oh my god, what's happening? Whoa! What? What the? Happen. Uh, well, are we underwater now? And can they? Whoa. Oxen free. I'm gonna do that every time I see that. Oxen free. Alex. Alex. Ooh. Where are we now? 11 p.m. Alex? Are you, <sighs> are you okay? You alright? I... think so? I don't know. God. Do I... 
look all right? You look alive, I guess. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, but the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of poop. We can't leave without my friends, okay? You're... <sighs> Ren, sure, but does that list really include Clarissa? I'm not saying leave her, but I just want to get this whole escape thing moving. <laughs> well, maybe not Clarissa, but the rest we have to round up first. Okay, okay. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little deep pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. So... Christ, I'm as freaked out as you are, Jonas, all right? I have a splitting headache and, like... I feel like my fingernails are gonna shoot out of my hands. Mine too. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. Harden Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> 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 yep. It almost makes the whole trip worth it, doesn't it? I wouldn't go that far. Man, this is so funny. The writing is really well done. So what are we doing here? It, it doesn't look. This doesn't, doesn't look like a watchtower. This looks like a, like a, one of those oil rig, like drills oil from the ground. Oh, I just got some uh, fire watch vibes from this. Ooh, what was that sound? I heard something. How do you run? <gasps> Ooh, music. This calms everything down. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? <sighs> They're just being lame. I can hear Ren now. Let's go to the fort and throw rocks at walls. Great. It's locked. I bet it's locked. Yep. It's locked. I have to go through Let the back try. window. Oh, after you. Oh, why, thank you. <clears throat> well, if you want to do things the easy way, sure. <laughs> He's trying to pick the lock. Okay. All right, guys. How does this thing? I think this is a good point to stop. Um, we, um, yeah, it this might work. If... All right, you keep talking while I'm talking over you. Anyways, guys, I'm just gonna pause. Uh, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm really into this game right now. I don't know what just happened. We went to a cave. We played with the the radio and we got some lights and that triangle beam. What is it talking about? I think this has to do with aliens. So far, my uh. My conclusion up to now is that this is some kind of alien technology, or maybe an alien spaceship that crashed here and joined the war, and they were able to stumble upon it and unlock its powers. So yeah, and I think we have been probably taken, teleported to another area of the island. It could either be that or we travel through time. I don't know. So far, a lot of mysteries are happening, but this game is really well made. The story, the writing, is very, very interesting, and it's very, like, it draws you into the story really, really good. Um, and also, the choices, I try to read as fast as I can, but some of the choices are really hard to make the decision before it fades out. So, I'm hoping I don't make too many mistakes, but there were a few in this episode where I missed out on the ones I actually wanted to choose and there are also ones where if you don't choose and you just left it it just disappears and you don't say anything so I think those kind of like choices is kind of like whether or not you want to cut in in a conversation and say something or you just let the person finish his sentence so yeah and I was really when we were at that um, beach with the bonfire I was really trying to set up um, Ren and Nona but uh, I didn't want to make Nona get angry by saying that he really likes her, so I kind of like backed out of it. <laughs> but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you do, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. 
And also, if you guys are playing this game as well, please let me know which choices you did and see. Tell me if anything is different to what what, what I did. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye. <laughs>